Saturday, Saturday, everybody. Saturday. Saturday. Yeah, Welcome right. to Saturday Morning Cartoons, where we watch uh, crazy, usually crappy cartoons from uh, the 80s, 90s, and, and even before that. Uh, I'm Nick from, from BCR Party. Over there is Joe, uh, nice. otherwise known as Little Pouchy. We got Wolfman <laughs> George. And with us is Hank Wilsey. I didn't What's... know that was going to show up, man. <laughs> What? Who's Hank Wilsey? <laughs> he was a guy. I, I'll, I just only remember him from seventh grade, but he must have been twenty five at the time. <laughs> and he got kicked out of class. Uh, 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 the science teacher I remember said to him, uh, "Hey, Hank, what do you think you're going to do with your life?" And seventh grade, twenty five year old Hank Wilsey said, "Slang dope." And so he went right to the principal's office, wow. and we never saw him again. <laughs> he started well, slanging dope like right after that principal's visit. Okay, yeah. well, well, it was an accelerated program for <laughs> dope slingers. I have one more uh, Hank-related question for Jason. Is uh, is that your go-to name on anything? Whenever you need an alias or something, you need to type your name in. You always go Hank Wilsey. Nope, first time ever used. First time. Oh wow! It I was divine honored. inspiration. We, we have the premiere. We have the exclusive here. Yeah, this is oh, the first wow. Hank Wilsey since 1994. Nobody's known where he is. Here he is, guys. All right. Well, welcome to the program, uh, Dope Slanger and uh, voiceover artist extraordinaire, Jason Griffith, otherwise mm. known as Hank Wilsey. So thank you, thank you thank for you so being much. here. Thank We're going to watch a Wolfman Jack cartoon that was recently, like within the last three weeks, unearthed. Nobody had seen any footage of this. Uh, so let's remind people or introduce people to who Wolfman Jack is with the commercial he did for Clearasil. Hey, Wolfman Jack. Hey, that Jim Lizzie makes me dizzy. Hey, Wolfman, are you giving straight scoop on cleanses and clearasil? You know it. Cleanses for cleaning and clearasil with pimple papa. Righteous, because clearasil not only dries up and helps heal acne pimples, it stops up excess skin oil up to six hours worth. So lay clearasil on them pimples and that oil that comes with them. Hey, thanks, Wolfman. Clearasil's good for your hide, Clyde. <laughs> Lay Clearasil on them pimples. <laughs> <laughs> I please, please tell me you have the blooper reel from that. Oh, that I shoot. wish we did. I did a He's probably deep dive. Drunk in it too. He's probably shit faced. They all <laughs> had shit faced back then. I mean, radio DJs, I suppose, weren't living the healthiest lifestyles. Uh, doesn't but, he so, look like? Doesn't he look like the, like the actual devil? You know, like if, if like <laughs> you pictured what the devil was. Yeah, like you put some horns on him. He's the devil. It's just like that's yeah. the devil's face. Or like yeah. a like a televangelist who you know you just end up giving all your money to. <laughs> he looks I've, he looks a lot thing. like Conway Twitty's yes. evil twin. Yeah. The hair. Well, especially. I want all of his '70s shirts. I mean, the one from the Clearsville commercial. This one is fantastic. Style icon. Nick, and... I think you own all of his '70s shirts. <laughs> I've, uh, that, I've only ever seen you in them. <laughs> probably at some point, I've owned all of them. Yeah. And uh, what? But speaking of uh, unhealthy lifestyles with DJs, what's everybody eating for breakfast or or drinking from this morning? Um, I got a well. I have a fun mug. I think I've showed this before. Roadside America, Nick. Do you remember this place? Uh, yeah, George. George, it's like your neck of the woods. Actually, it's like uh, southeastern Pennsylvania. I think this madman put together this uh, model railroad city. Jason, you've seen it before? No. He, okay, put together this like it's like an acre. It's, it's like an acre and he made this whole city and the you know you go in there and it's massive and uh the lights go down at nighttime and they come up in the daytime it's like on this hour loop it's it's incredible wow. anyway i think I've, i think i've shown that before uh but th i think it's for sale too nick i think that they uh i know a lot of business i think it's what i remember sale. is i was newly dating somebody at the time and you were just openly farting in front of her <laughs> um during our I mean, tour through roadside america if, yeah. if i'm farting with within like the first like hour of meeting somebody that that's good on the person he's comfortable good luck uh, yeah, yeah comfortable yeah so how, how'd that work out with uh that not great friend? not great no? <laughs> yeah, all right. no, it didn't end well <laughs> uh, i do have a cereal though so i have boring old cheerios but nick do you remember when we were on tour in minneapolis last year we went mm -hmm. to the the general mills we did the factory tour and you know how like if you do the the tour at um you know like saturday night live sometimes like adam sandler will pop up sure do you yeah remember jeff harmoning was he popped up the CEO of General Mills no. and I got his I got his autograph wow, and I can't believe iconic. it's taken me this long to show this but wow, uh, that's CEO huge. Jeff Harmonings and see he dots the eye with a Cheerio I thought that was cute oh, oh wow. extremely so, uh, cute absolutely wow. a Cheerio there yeah starstruck uh, yeah. I got yeah. a cereal too I just this I just spotted a new cereal hot off the presses this is uh 
Frosted Flakes, but look, they have cinnamon uh, French toast, cinnamon French toast oh. flavor. Um, so I haven't tried it, but it smells like French toast, kind of like um, French toast crunch. Mm. Um, it, tastes, <laughs> it tastes like do, French toast. It's very sugary. Yeah, the people behind good. those cereals, do they ever say no to any idea? It seems like they just say yes to every idea. They're the Jim Davis of foods. They really are. Yeah. 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 It's open little. season for any flavor. So uh, not bad though. I probably will finish mm. that bowl. Jason, well, George, <laughs> George, go ahead. Oh well, I you know how you uh, Joe said that when he well sometimes you go on the Saturday Night Live tour and you get Adam Sandler's autograph. Uh, I, I got Adam Sandler on my Cheerios box, Whoa! which is really weird. But that's not the only cereal I have. I have. Um, it's like a magic trick right there. <laughs> I saw him doing something. I <laughs> but I have. So I always wanted. Like, I always wondered what would happen if you got Frank Herbert and Punky Brewster into oh. a single uh, product. And sure. I, 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 Who this is wondered that. Uh, this is. Um, this is what I purchased. This is um, a little something. It's gonna be. It's called oh. Sean Dune, and <laughs> it is uh, it is Glomer and Punky. It's it it tastes mm. like spice. It's the. It's, uh, <laughs> mm. Wow. You mean the uh, the drug spice or uh, a little from column A, <laughs> or French yeah. toast spice? I don't yeah. think you're talking about cinnamon. No, <laughs> yeah, no, it must flow. All right, Sean mm. Dune. I'm looking forward to that. Endorsed by Frank Welker too, I assume. Must be. Uh, all right, box. I... Jason, what do you have? I don't have any autographs. Uh, I am drinking out of a uh, a very special mug. It says uh, "Best Dad Ever," and uh, that's me. <laughs> oh, is that back when you were a caveman? <laughs> that's right. Yeah. Okay. Uh, that's right after they thawed me out. Uh, but I still was. <laughs> I was. I was still reading to my children and uh, you know doing math homework with. Oh, them. you knew so how that's... to read them. Okay. Oh yeah, I mean yeah. The, you know the it's a uh, cuneiform, but uh, and I don't have I don't have cereal, but I am eating some absolutely delicious organic uh, protein puffs, caramelized onion. Uh, can't beat them. Mm. Can't beat them. Mm. Yeah, it's, caramelized they're onion vegan and the protein. Yeah. And they're like onions. Oh mm. man, All that right. does sound good actually. Oh, well, get them. We are fully uh, stocked on cereals and and uh, great mugs for uh, this morning's cartoon. Uh, do we want to learn about Wolfman Jack a little bit? Because I had to do a deep dive. Oh, I this. can take it or leave it. Oh, <laughs> I vote if yes. You want I, to. I, I, if you want I'll use to. a Wolfman. I'll give you the short version. Um, so <laughs> I short first, hair. Wow. Yeah, I first heard about Wolfman Jack, um, I think, in American Graffiti, the uh, George Lucas movie, because he was sort of like the soundtrack of it, you know, for, uh, doing his Wolfman voice. But George Lucas grew up listening to him on the radio. Uh, and uh, this guy, he, Bob Smith is his real name. He's from Brooklyn, listened to a lot of like Bob Smith. classic DJs in New York and Philly, and then went to broadcasting school in D.C. And then heard this uh, Mexican radio station, uh, XERF, that broadcast all, I mean, their range reached L.A., reached all over, uh, even Northern California. And so he invented Wolfman Jack to basically sell things and have a, a sellable character in 1963. And... Uh, Here's a little bit of when uh, uh, of his scene, in, which shows that he doesn't always have that voice. It's just a thing he puts on. <laughs> no, man, I'm not the wolf man. Wait a minute. He's on tape. Rock on, man. We gonna do it right here. Rock and roll yourself to death. Oh, mercy. Give me some more, my uh, So let's just let's just watch the movie. I wouldn't let's, mind. Let's I mean, I haven't going. seen I haven't seen American Graffiti for a while. But that, so that's how I knew about him. But he his uh he was the first DJ to nationally distribute his syndicated radio program. Two thousand stations had it, fifty three countries. I think he we made lost over Jason. Oh no. Yeah. All right. Well, I guess uh, I'll have to just text him the Wolfman uh, history. <laughs> Hopefully he just comes do that. Back. Do that right now. We'll wait. We'll, all right. We'll all right. Hey. <laughs> hey, Jason. Nineteen sixty-three. <laughs> he said he's he's trying to reconnect. Okay. Um. 
But uh, he also made a lot of TV cameos. You know, he was kind of like Elvira or anybody like that, where they were like, probably locally famous, but, you know, went on a lot of different uh, shows. And uh, okay? I don't okay? know. That was that was I thought the apocalypse started. Oh. I'll have to fill you in on uh, basically what I was getting to is that Wolf Rock TV premiered in uh, 1984 as part of the NBC uh, Saturday morning lineup. It was um, a cartoon wraparounds around actual music videos. And the way we found out about this was we watched a little bit of the 1984 NBC preview starring Weird Al Yankovic uh, with Caitlin. Here's a little bit of that. Welcome to the ABC Saturday Morning Preview Party ABC. with special guest stars, the man who brought you Edith, Weird Al Yankovic, from the hit series Benson, Missy Gold, and from the new series Wolf Rock TV, Wolfman Jack, the high powered sports car action of Turbo Team, the comic adventures of Dirk the Daring and Dragon Slayer, the music videos and cartoon fun of Wolf Rock TV, and their hip talking, moonwalking mascot, Bopper. So that was all ooh, that we ooh. knew existed. Who the fuck is clapping for this? <laughs> no, I'm wondering, like, <laughs> well, George was, but yeah. I mean, I was wondering that too. I was wondering, like, did kids really care about Wolfman Jack in 1984, or was it their parents? <laughs> I feel like it was their parents that. Probably yeah, gave there a was shit like, about. yeah, and I think like, and for a long time, like, I went looking, like, what Wolf Rock TV? That'd be a great Saturday cartoon, but no footage of it existed. Uh, the only thing I could find is a couple animation cells in this puffy sticker and album set to prove that <laughs> this was a real thing that happened. But then uh, I saw a comment on our YouTube for that episode we watched, and somebody said, you know, on archive.org, somebody anonymously posted a whole hour of the Wolf Rock TV Power Hour. And uh, I watched it, and uh, sure enough, it had a, a wisecracking parrot that uh, we saw. It's got to and- be Wilker. That's got to be Orko. <laughs> yeah. Well, it, uh, yeah. Yeah, that oh, is by, oh, wow. by Frank Welker. God, Nobody knew Welker. until we just, uh, the cartoon resurfaced like uh, September of uh, 2023. So this Question? long, yes. D- mm-hmm. Did Frank take a spill before the, right before this headshot? <laughs> <laughs> I think, yeah. I think he might have like bumped his head. going. Get from back in the booth, seconds. Frank. <laughs> yeah. We need more animal sounds, God damn it. I'm yeah. trying to retire here. Jason, oh. you do you do voice work. Like, is this is it the goal of all people who do do voices like to be Frank Welker? Because like whenever Either. they have a parrot, they're just like no. bring in Welker. And Welker just like just shits it out and goes home. That's it. <laughs> shits it out. Uh either <laughs> Welker or Don LaFontaine, I think. Those are the two, you know, th- th- those are the people. untouchables. Uh, you know, yeah. Mel Blanc is sort of more of a myth. Uh, mm. but yeah, Welker seems um uh, uh, yeah. I mean, no. yeah, as far as I'm concerned, he's like the gold standard. So, yeah. yeah. And I hope his head healed. He might have bumped it on his way into a recording. Could booth. you Photoshop a band aid onto that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know what? I will for the next time we play Welker. But yeah, oh, yeah. of course, the uh, beatboxing, wisecracking, uh, breakdancing parrot was voiced by Welker. Who else? Uh, so, we were ready to watch a little bit of the three teens who run a, a music video station with uh, Wolfman appearing from here now and then. No. Could take it or leave it again. Okay, we, we don't have to if you, if you don't want to. But if you really well, want to, I'll watch it. Yeah, I've I've built this up. It's long lost. I don't think there's any way to cartoon will disappoint. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Pretty good copy of it too. Oh my god. And Halo, Queen. Oh, Queens. Yep. Ikigamis. Oh, those Ikigamis? They were, weren't they? Yeah. I love it if he played obscure videos. I, are they trying to make us believe all, like Sting is in this cartoon? Like, Yeah, basically. <laughs> like, they would just play videos. I think they just license them. So there's times where he just throws oh. into a video. I've cut oh. that out. But I was yeah. like, I can't wait to see Peebo Bryson. <laughs> Nope, not in this episode. Okay. Now here's Bards and Bards with fish hands. You know, like that's good. I would like that. (laughs) Hurt my voice. Hand by a giant pile of cocaine. (laughs) 
I don't think he could sing, so they kind of have him talk sing. This is how rap would start. It. Yeah. Through the old man deck cartoon. Yeah. I'm just trying to think. Did the kids really even know who he was? In I did not watch this, and I was, you know, this was prime cartoon watching. When the moon starts to rise, Wolfman's gonna check out paradise. <laughs> Mr. Wolfman, are you here? Hey, baby. Jason Alexander. I'm not your baby. <laughs> Now, if we don't get that videotape, we're in big trouble. Be cool, huh? Mr. Maurice. Bopper? Bopper? Oh, this is That's ridiculous. Welker doing a Wolfman oh. impression. Ah, sorry about that, Mr. Maurice. Why did I ever get mixed up with this crazy TV station? It's nothing but problems. I already know. They just went the all out. The kids were due back an yeah. hour ago with the rock video for tonight's show. I and I'm he's talking Converse business with an overdressed chicken. So far, this is more watchable Sarah, than Killer Clown Bill or whatever it was. The clowns from Happy we'll Town. Rating, oh, yeah, Little Clowns from Happy Town. Morris, Killer Hill Clowns us. from Happy Town. Ricardo, <laughs> calm down. It's only a little setback. I'll come up with something. We got They're it. multicultural teens. They always <laughs> were. Ricardo, um... It. The Wolf Rock News is on in three minutes. <laughs> the kids are coming. It's about time. No oh, idiot. <laughs> Joe? Hey, what's shaking, Mr. Morris? <laughs> what was that burp from? I Sorry. Am. He's comfortable. Where's the new video, Sarah? <laughs> Another station got it. Oh, no. But, but, but how? I guess they caught us napping. You snooze, you lose. Ah, we have nothing for tonight's show. My life's saved. Very glamour We've got to get on the air. I mean, in 30 it's every character he's Wolf ever Rock done. News. I'd love to see what AI would come up with for uh, <laughs> oh, oh, Frank I could, I could feed in a lot of Welker. Yeah. Yeah. Be the Here ultimate comes. Welker character. Ah, ah. Any sign of Wolfman? Uh, uh, I can feel him. I just can't see him as usual. Oh, I shit my pants. Five seconds. <laughs> Four, three, two. Apparently, Wolfman actually is a supernatural creature in this. Yeah, I always thought that. But then he just becomes a guy who's a hey, DJ. Yeah. <laughs> oh, the kids in 1984 are just going crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, that studio hey, audience now. The guy from American Graffiti. <laughs> Oh, you see all those Tina cavities? Turner is hot on the charge this week with What's Love Got to Do With It? It's Tina's biggest hit ever, but it's not her first hit. Do you know no. who was president of the United States when Tina Turner had her very first hit record? Lyndon Johnson. You ready? Yes. Oh, L Johnson. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta be the Johnson. The answer is Carter. Dwight D. Eisenhower. What? Fuck and you. And his first hit on the charts in August 1960 easy, was easy, A Fool easy. in Love. Since then, there have been six more... Sorry, President of the USA, and Tina <laughs> is still having hit No, no, F words are fine. And I'm just saying, don't take it out on Wolfman. Wolfman oh, sorry. <laughs> bye. Oh, bye. <laughs> How's it going, my We've got a big problem, yeah. Wolfman. Do you ever think that, like, when he'd get Another done, station like, saying a line, that he would just, like, have to hit the mute button and just, like, cough and hack? Cause, like, his I just <laughs> did. He's just doing a small impression, which doesn't bode well for a, a game we have <laughs> later today. But. Do any of you get the impression that he died because of doing that voice? He did like, have only a heart so attack shortly after recording in 1996. Yeah. So it's possible. Yeah. It's possible. You know, yeah. I wonder, do you think he smoked? Did, he, did the smoke, did smoking, because everybody smoked back then. I, feel I like, assume he you know, did, but he he said it was whiskey. He said that's what oh. gave him the rasp. Yeah. So, oh boy. All right. I don't so, know. there's probably sure. several things that killed him. <laughs> probably, yeah. Probably, yeah. Put us on the video for tonight's show. Well, let's scoop it right back, Jack. So How loud. Do that, Wolfman. Uh, hey, Wolfman, can you I talk know. more normal, we please? We can make our own rock video. We, we don't no. understand you. The Wolfman. Damn. I keep thinking it's Kenny Rogers. I know. Oh, yeah, I can see that. So, they're trying to make their own video. I keep thinking it's the devil. What do you think of this song? The 8 bit greatness. <laughs> yeah. This is what they thought like breakdancing music was. It's like if they said, hey, Joe, can you, can you do a Maybe song on the do. keyboard? And they'll be like, yeah, I think so. Just got a good. demo. I'll put some Wolf fills man, in. Did you see this? I feel like Einstein. You, know, it would you guys be remember that clip? Oh, yes. 
What's his name? Corey uh, Haim. Uh, Haim. Feldman. Haim, yes. Yeah, That's yeah. Haim. Me, myself, Devil and Devil. I. Yes. Can't <laughs> like get in. Be attracted to the owner. He's a friend of the old wolf man. That's it. Well, you know what you have to do. Covering the opening would be a great scoop. And super for wolf rock. A super scooper, huh, Sonny? No sooner said than done. Maestro, if you please. I think Wolfman was Hello, laying Dr. down Williams. when he recorded all this. It's Wolfman. <laughs> Let's, let me, uh, he was what? Laying down? Did you say? It's on a couch, microphone right over his mouth. And they're yeah. like, you don't have to be so loud, Wolfie. <laughs> and he, he had like his ashtray on his stomach. <laughs> <laughs> this is as quiet as I get, baby. <laughs> oh, Brooklyn. Yeah. Pretty streets. <laughs> That you seems to be all in sync. It, not break it. Oh, that was me best solo ever. Right. Fat guy right. voice. No, it's an accent. Money. I believe you they're trying to be everything. like uh, cool, South London. I'm reading the paper where there are tons of instruments. Cockney, just perhaps. for the taking. I think it's Canadian. Yeah, that's what it is. You're right. Canadian. So we've met our uh, villains there. Uh, they're going to try to oh. steal the instruments at the big rock and roll. A Hall of Fame museum. So okay. let's hope that the teens from Wolf Rock TV can foil their plan. But we'll Mercifully short on that one. I tried to cut this way down. Yeah, because it was an hour. It was a, uh, yeah. Well, once you took out all the music videos, it was, uh, there's about yeah. 10 minutes left, I think. And this was like part of a power hour. So it came with, uh, what was the, the cartoon with the kids where they had a station to? Kid video? Uh, kid video, yeah. Wow. It was, it was packaged with a kid video episode too. So, um, thoughts so far on the Wolfman? Uh, not cartoon? good. No, <laughs> not good. Good. But, nope. I'm glad he's dead. But Bopper <laughs> the parrot. Bopper the parrot is going to be a new classic. No, I think. Bopper has too many lines. Bopper is too much of a presence. I, I but, feel like maybe that's the note that they got. It was like nobody knows who Wolfman is. This, <laughs> we we made this show 20 years too late. Um, let's like put more parrot in there. Well, that I'm was honestly, part of the uh, yeah. I'm I'm holding out for a Nancy Reagan appearance. Um, oh, I really maybe want there's an anti drug episode. There's in there, always yeah. a chance. There's always a chance. <laughs> well, it's like no way, baby. <laughs> Stay away from my pile. <laughs> <laughs> there was always a cute sidekick, though, you know. And we've talked about that before in other cartoons. Like even Fonzie had Mr. Cool, the dog, and uh, you guys have me. Yo. Yeah, we have you. <laughs> and hey. Walter, uh, <laughs> Walter played most of them, right? Um, all right, so we have to take a, a quick commercial break. George, what do you have lined up? This, these are s commercials that feature uh, werewolves, were women, were people, and wolf people, including one particular Wolfman Jack. Ooh, hmm. heard of him. Saturday morning cartoons. We'll be right back. Hey, take it to Wolfman Jack. Place your classified ads for free in the Recycler Classifieds by calling 543-0141 and make yourself some extra gold. Right. Who does Recycler Classifieds think they're fooling? Free classified ads? Yeah. There's about as much chance of that as me winning a beauty contest. Wow. You really can place your classified ads for free by calling the Recycler Classifieds at 543-0141. That's 543-0141. Hi, Miss South Dakota. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you, you never see him uh, do commercials, though. You always just hear him doing the the the. It's it's weird to hear him do a commercial. I don't know. I saw him in a Clearasil ad earlier in this oh, very episode. That's, right. that's <laughs> yeah. right. He did okay. quite a few actually. He did one for Hardee's as well. So though. he okay. He did yeah. sell out. Yeah, he did <laughs> everything. Yeah. He got in the early '90s for a spell. He was known as Zitman Jack. Oh, that's right. <laughs> you got the Zitman come at you. Just pop that shit. <laughs> Saturday. The night begins with action and adventure. Now, terror strikes at a new time. <laughs> Werewolf is on the move and taking over the start of Saturday you night. you watch this, George? Nope. Then, Beans has a date with a college co-ed <laughs> in danger. Feds are looking for me, Mary Ellen. Look, guys, I gotta be home by 11 or my mom is gonna shoot me. I'll take Canadian. care of it for her. Wow. That's be Canadian, right? Is that Max no, no, no. That was 
That was uh, The Adventures of Beans Baxter. The, Who the hell is that? was the very first season of Fox trying to do their own programming. Nobody remembers <laughs> Beans Baxter except think, your friends here at Saturday Morning Cartoon. I think Beans Baxter turned into Parker Lewis. And then That's he right. Oh, right. Okay, he transformed into him. All right, he gave yeah. birth to Parker. Yeah, Thank God the Simpsons, uh, they discovered that. <laughs> because uh, it would have been an all- Fox entirely be different right network. Now. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, guys, rise and shine. Hey, we're all left crackling. Huh, I wonder what he's dreaming. So far, normal. This Halloween, okay. be on the lookout for orange and yellow. Kellogg's Halloween Rice Krispies cereal. Just don't forget to take off your mask, because you can enjoy them only until Halloween. Huh? Huh? Whoa! You're awake! Breakfast what? isn't breakfast with Elves. Part of this complete breakfast. No, Listen, it's extra forget. orange number four. <laughs> yeah. There's don't just forget to weird... take off your mask to eat them. It was a weird framing the device? device. Yeah, I don't understand. It was like a don't frame programming. of yeah, I don't know. Because otherwise you'd you ever... you like scoop it right into the rubber. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. Did you ever get uh Halloween like uh houses that would give uh cellophane wrapped rice krispie bars? Mm-hmm. Yeah. There was yep. one in our neighborhood. I always looked forward to those. Did you? We always just throw them in the garbage. Oh, Not yeah. vegan. <laughs> yeah. No. no. But like, just I give us like a back in the day. Yeah. yeah. Give me your wallet, lady. Yeah, I I uh, actually would uh, rob houses on Halloween because I didn't really understand the concept. This was two what weeks ago. All right. Oh, All, right. All right. Back to the commercials. Deep down inside every chocolate lover's soul is a beast. <laughs> Pretty good transformation. A beastie yeah. that hungers yeah. for the ultimate chocolate extravaganza. Yeah. Hershey's bar none. Chocolate wafers, chocolate cream, peanuts, and pure milk chocolate. Good. Make bar none the only one that will tame the chocolate beastie. This was originally the thriller Darling, video. No. What is it you wanted to talk to me about? I've never quite met anyone like you before. Tomorrow, ghouls just want to have fun. Drop it up to my animal <laughs> magnetism. A new love American style. <laughs> Jump the shark. <laughs> this is something you just don't see every day. But you can see it every night. When you shop from home on Home Shopping Spring for brand name merchandise with all brand name prices. Yeah. Why? It's enough to make you feel Home Shopping Spring, the best kept secret in late night television. Watch the Home Shopping Spree overnight on Color 10, every night but Sunday. <laughs> 2 to 5 a.m. <laughs> Not Sunday? Uh, I, bet, I bet makeup artists have so much fun, like, doing up the, the wolf. Don't you think? Like, I think that yeah. would be so much fun if you're a makeup artist. W- what would you think if you saw all of those commercials in succession on television uh, with no explanation? It wasn't Wolf Week or anything. It's just like, <laughs> like one a after another. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Is it from 2.30 to 5.30 a.m.? or Not just, on Sundays. No? no? Okay. Yeah. Uh, I would be thrilled. I would stick through the commercials, actually. What is what is the best uh, wolf, werewolf uh, costume of all time? Like, what? Like what's the best one? Probably uh, American Werewolf in London? I think I so. The, Who's that? I Rick Baker? That yeah. yeah. Uh, the Howling was pretty good at the time. Remember Silver Bullet? I don't remember. Sure. What looks oh, like. yeah. I remember seeing that when I was a kid, though. I don't remember great, what the wolf looks great like. Great movie. Teen uh, Wolf, of course. Um, Teen Wolf. That's one of the worst, I think. What do you think? Yeah. Teen Wolf. I don't know. The fingernails uh, growing out were cool. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the Thriller video. Thriller uh, video is pretty good. Oh, yeah. cool. I, I did voice a, a werehog in one of the Sonic games. <laughs> Really? Yeah. You're just telling us this now? I, I figured you guys had, uh, you know, Googled me. Uh, do you know who the fuck <laughs> I am? You assumed we did our research. Uh, <laughs> just, just one of the more popular video games that I've voiced is fine. Uh-huh. You, I, was, I, mean, I hate to ask you to do things, but I'm going to ask you, what does the werehog sound like? Do you remember? So, well, all? Sonic sounds like this, and the werehog sounded like this. Oh, so I mean, oh, Sonic. Oh, Jesus. And here, here's a little, here's a little uh, inside baseball, as they say. I, uh, I thought I had strep throat during the recording of this, uh, this video game, and um, you know, everyone flew in from Japan and uh, all over, so you couldn't be like, oh, I'll do this next week. It was like, no, right. now. Uh, and they needed werehog screams 
uh, all day long. It was like, let's do have the 10 second version, the 15 second version, the 20 second version. I'm going to pot down here. I'm going to give you a little sample. So this oh, is what okay. I got to do with, with glass in my throat. He's potting down. I like that he's potting down. <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised that didn't kill the strep throat. Like if you had strep throat, it would have killed the germs. Uh, it almost killed me, Wolfman style. <laughs> oh my god! I wonder. God. I wonder if, like, with strep throat or something, can you use that? Can you be like, I'm going to oh, use dude. my strep throat? To... I absolutely, I absolutely did because I was, I felt so horrible the, the the two weeks we were recording this game <laughs> that I'm like, I really have to push uh, to make this sound good. Yeah, and uh, and and it came out great. Everyone seems to you know love that game. And then they never use me again. So <laughs> thank you. But they, they probably can't recreate it unless you have strep throat again. You're like, exactly. Yeah, right. Lightning yeah. in a bottle. Yeah. Yeah. Like, so there go, were sounds emanating that we'd never heard before. Yeah. yeah. So I go lick a toilet seat at Chelsea Piers and then I'm back in the game. <laughs> Good news, guys. I got it. <laughs> you went back to slang and dope. Pot up. Pot up. <laughs> now back to Saturday morning cartoons. All right, let's uh, find out if they're able to steal the instruments from the museum before the Wolf Rock kids can uh, foil their plans. Here we go. I'm with Mr. Bill Tractor, famed record producer and founder of the Rock and Roll Museum. Bill, can you tell us about the exhibits? Well, we have a unique collection of giant instruments, the only one of its kind in the world. <laughs> Alan and here Thick. behind us is Maybelline. It does it sound the like his all-time like favorite guitar. That's got to be him. Yeah. I'll do anything to work with Wolfman. Miss, are you okay? <laughs> what happened? I'm just totally maxed out on the king. Of course, there's a Valley Girl records. character. Really? The early ones are real collector's items. Required by law in the 80s. I know. I have, like, every single one of them. Wolfman was right. You kids are real fans. Now that's what I like to see. Oh, I'm Troy Wolfman. McClure. Are you, ready with <laughs> you might remember I'm me from Gladys. Get down with the show. <laughs> Parrot eating a hamburger, if that's on your bingo card. <laughs> yeah. The gate crashes, you know. But listen, never mind. We, we got to get this show on the road. I love it. Let me just do, blow a line real quick. <laughs> <laughs> no, we don't know anything about Wolfman's drug use. Wolfman. I want to reiterate. To There's family if they're watching. Hardy, hardy, True. True. With the Jacks. Yeah. But he is dead. The little wolf. He did die. <laughs> It'd be cool if he was actually that character for a while, but he's very it'd be quickly. A more interesting, yeah, it'd be a more yeah. interesting cartoon. Cruising for a bruising. Uh, if he did I was have going to kill to a human you, occasionally, but, but, yeah. they're getting away. I would have watched this. Dab me down, kids. I don't know what I'll do. It's a full moon. Well, like he doesn't want to do it. He doesn't want to kill the kids. Yeah. He says to kill one. Oh, it's a full moon tonight, too. Yeah, you're right. I wish they actually. We can like just recycle that. I like the fighting. <laughs> and this had, we have to use that video. Here's a that tape that. flying in. That's a gift Keep right a there. An orange. <laughs> this is the theme to bad dudes. <laughs> it does sound like it. I could have been great. Oh, he wanted to be in the video. Cheer up, you're our star. Papa, how about a howl from our favorite pal? Yeah! <laughs> this ending is really beautiful. <laughs> the 
was a plot that no one cared about. Look at vibrating. Oh, uh, vibrating and laughing. Laughing. Him. Yeah, did, the Rambo oh, cartoon we, there. So we got to do the montage of vibrating laughing. Dick I mean, Clark. Like, I'm sorry. Yeah. So Dick, this was a Deke production, but Dick Clark, because he was involved in like music Deke and Clark. DJ stuff. <laughs> Call him <laughs> Deke Clark. <laughs> Uh, no, a seizure. How many people did it take to write Chuck that? Chuck Six writers. Chuck Lorre. <laughs> oh, Lorre, yeah. Was that? That was Elf Nick? Hey, did I see Jason Bateman? Uh, no, Fred, no. Fred, Fred Travelina. Fred Travelina was in there. We. Okay, the writer. Chuck Lorre was a writer? Oh, oh Jason Jackson. Bernard. Oh, yeah. Who's that? <laughs> Not Jason Bateman. Get out okay. down. <laughs> Tris, oh, it Wait, John been... Travolta? Oh, no, Fred Travolta. Tris. <laughs> and it should be Tress McNeil from The Simpsons, uh, but they went with Tris. So one question. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. I'm sorry, all my questions are answered right now. <laughs> no further did, questions. Did nobody show Wolfman? Like, was he like, don't show me any any video? Uh, I don't want to see any uh, picture of the cartoon. Because he would have seen that Wolfman was never yelling or screaming. On, he was always like, what the voice? <laughs> oh, sorry, I lost you for a second. That's What fine. was he saying? The voice coming out like this! Cartoon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. He, I think he was more hands off. I think he was just sort of, uh, yeah, just kind of like lent his would... voice to stuff and called it a day. I feel like he might have said, like, "Can we make me less pear shaped? Like, I'm that way in real life, but can we maybe <laughs> just, you know, just help me out a little bit here? I yeah. want to be a wolf." Now, I, so he did die in '96, but his legacy lives on. I, I guess his show is still uh, aired in syndication, and um, we saw a version of Wolfman. Um, Earlier this year in a movie that I really loved. Well, 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 if it isn't Dr. Demento. Wolfman Jack. Who let you in here? The Wolfman <laughs> goes where the Wolfman wants, baby. Ow, 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 ow. Ow. Security! Relax. I just came by to lay eyes on this cat. You've been parading around. The one who takes pre-existing musical compositions and completely changes the lyrics. He has a name, you know. And it's Weird Al Yankovic. Well then, <laughs> put it there, Weird Al. Ooh, too slow. All right, yeah, so, yeah. yeah, Wolfman's still in the public consciousness, at least in Weird Al movies on Roku. Uh, do, you, but... do you guys know the Guess Who song, Clap for the Wolfman? Yes, he he's appeared in some other songs as well. But yeah, I believe uh, he's referenced in that, right? Oh yeah, yeah, whole songs about him. Yeah, is he in it? Does he actually make a, a cameo, or is it? Uh... Yeah, that's a good question. Uh, maybe, uh -huh. maybe okay. he he does in other songs. He was willing to to like be cameos in other songs. So clearly, as a DJ, he had a lot of influence. Uh, and clearly, he's fairly easy to impersonate, at least by Jason and Jack Black. Uh, my voice might not survive this next game. Called the Wolfman Jack Off. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I've gathered a bunch of phrases that Wolfman Jack would probably never say. And uh, we each get a, a, a turn at saying one of these phrases. If you successfully uh, complete it, you get a point. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to let you know I, I had COVID last week. My throat mm -hmm. is still a little raw. Mm -hmm. So this Perfect. might kill me. This might kill oh, me. I'm, All right. I'm going to shove these scissors down my throat to get ready. <laughs> All right. I'm going to try to get strong real quick. But uh, let's start off with Jason, since he's the uh, pro here with this friend. No, I, I feel like he has to go last, though, right? Like, have a, all the <laughs> sucky ones go, and then he's the clean. Okay, bag. Joe, you're up first. <laughs> all right, here we go. <clears throat> here we go. <clears throat> I'm sorry, but the tumor's inoperable, baby. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Ooh. It was a little, uh, I feel like that was a little Good. bit of the Kool-Aid man. Yeah. Kool -Aid <laughs> man. Little, Kool -Aid man. Yeah. little macho man in there. Oh, yeah. Kool-Aid yeah. yeah. man, yeah. yeah. Kool -Aid man but, Randy Savage. Yeah. One, yeah. one point. <laughs> All right. I'll go with this one. Stick around, you clown, because we got Enya coming at you. <laughs> I heard it on the Enya. That was really good. <laughs> okay. All right. Good. Really good. All right. 
<laughs> George? Can't do it on the Sabbath, baby. The Wolfman is orthodox. <laughs> okay. Good. Sounds like something he'd say. Yep. <laughs> All right, Jason. Uh, here, let me take off the uh, the logo on the bottom for you. I know I say this a lot, boys and girls, but the Wolfman needs your help. So sign up for the Wolfman's Patreon for all sorts of crazy bonus content. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Wow. That's See, that's why, why, he's, that's that's why, why he's 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 he is. All right. Yep. Double points for Jason. All right. Yep. He's the Mark yeah. McGuire of this lineup. Joe, you got one more. Oh, uh, okay. I feel like Jason should get the lion's share here, right? I mean, uh, you don't want to hear me do two of yeah, them. Yeah, I think it's more fun that way. Okay, all right, here we go. <clears throat> Call me Wolfman Jack. Lycan... Oh, boy. Ly ly Lycanthropy. Like Lycanthropy? I think that... Lycanthropy. Okay. Oh, Call right. me Wolf... Yeah. Okay, here we go. Ready? Call me Wolfman Jack. Lycanthropy Jonathan is my father's name. Good, you did yeah. it. Okay. Your voice lasted, yeah. Yeah, I'd like another take on that, but uh, it's fine. Just all right. Gonna, I feel we'll like fix I, it in post. Okay. All right. Um, all right. Good job. Point for Joe. I, oh, no. We lost Jason again. Yeah. He's not going to be able to hear my great impression. Should I just do it or should I? Yeah, go for it. Okay. Not much of a music fan, more of a reader. Mostly historical nonfiction, baby. <laughs> okay. Can't quite yeah. get Jason's register, but. Uh, yeah, I know. All right, George. Stick around, little kiddos, because Terry Gross is coming up next. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's right. Wow. He was on NPR. Right? Yeah, that's he was, right. Uh, he was an NPR brief, guy. So it was Fresh moment. Air. He was yep. always on right before Fresh Air. <laughs> All right. All right now, now we got to get Jason. We got to get Jason. There he is. He's in. Once. Yeah. Can you He's see back. me? I, uh... yeah. All right. You're back. You're back. Just in time for your... Um, for your... <laughs> yeah, this is going to close us out, so take us home. Okay. Now the Wolfman hides behind a character because it's easier than confronting the real emotions at the core of Wolfman's being. Oh, yeah. Oh! <laughs> yes. <laughs> and that's oh, how you wow. play Wolfman, Wolfman Jack, Jack Off. off. Oh, well done. Man. Yeah. Jason wins. But uh, uh, good all around. Those are phrases we'd like to hear the Wolfman Jack say. But I'm going to need a Band-Aid on my throat. I I'm do feel gonna, it. I'm just going to swallow a couple band-aids. Yeah. I'm here. Have a puff. It, yeah. oh, it okay. does yeah. hurt. Uh, I learned a lot about the Wolfman, but uh, George, did you learn anything on your end? There's a lesson for all of us here today. Just as the Roman Empire is defined in the collective memory by its first century AD apex, so too is the United States as a global superpower defined by its post-war afterglow of the 1950s. Even by the 1970s, Americans recognized that they'd already peaked and immersed themselves in nostalgia for that earlier era, from happy days to Greece to shitty diners. But no voice personified that golden age better than the peppy rasp of Robert Weston Smith, known to posterity as Wolfman Jack. And the further decline of the American empire was mirrored by the decline of Wolfman Jack, for his gravelly voice spiraled into a death rattle just as our international standing continued to collapse. So in that spirit, let's all take a heaping spoonful of cereal in tribute to the man that is the personification of wistfulness for a time none of us lived through. And that's why I always say, the more you battle is twice the knowing. Yes, yeah, yeah. I agree, yeah. George. Yeah, that's, wow. that's good. It's, yeah, it's a <laughs> good point. You know, I, I, re I really feel like he really missed an opportunity with Bob Smith. I think Wolfman Jack, I think it has a nice sound to it, but I think mm -hmm. Bob Smith, I think that's I think that's where he should have gone. Well, catch here. Yeah. yeah, a little catch. It rolls off the tongue, Bob Smith. Mm -hmm. What about, Relatable. What about Bo Bob Man Smith? <laughs> oh, Bob yeah. Man Smith. Or Bob yeah. Man Bob. <laughs> Bob you got man Bob, Bob Man Bob coming at you. <laughs> All right. Well, let's uh, let's give let's everybody give a howl as we uh, say we'll go happy Saturday into a howl and uh, we'll see you uh, next week on Saturday morning cartoons, everybody. Happy, happy Saturday. Saturday. Oh!